Look guys, we were blessed with a beautiful sunny day. We have more rain to come, but man, you got to take the good with the bad. Okay, so before I get to what this video is about, I want to show y'all my completed picture because I'm so pride of, proud of it. This took all of about four days to complete. It was a lot of work, but it was a lot, a lot of reward. So they turned out so pretty that I'm thinking of doing more with some of the same colors as the others and framing them and putting them either in the kitchen or in the bathroom. So I'll keep y'all posted on that. And then you will haven't seen Evelyn for a while because, well, Evelyn has a broken arm. The joint totally came out from the body. So this body is a mess anyways. It's too big for her. So I have ordered a new body, but I'm thinking the arms are so difficult because they're, you know, full arms and I just don't know. I have a set of arms and legs painted um, from another baby that I'm thinking maybe just doing, I don't know, we'll see, keeping the arms, the legs, but putting the other arms onto a three-fourth body with full legs. So, because the arms, the way they are from this kit, I had to kind of rig this up and they don't like to stay in place. So that's what's happened with Miss Evelyn. A bit of great news. I fixed my little cradle. The two pieces went together perfectly and I have it on the edge here, which isn't very smart, but I've fixed it. So I can put my little babies in there and that is why I am here is to show y'all a mystery doll. Another thing I'm going to do today is hang up the uh, mobile, the new mobile I got and I have one more baby to change and that's Mr. Brennan. But this is what brings me here today. Sorry my camera's not really focusing. There it goes. This doll was in a bag for 99 cents and I have not taken her out of the bag yet I used to have a lot of dolls when I was younger and this one is so old I don't even know I would I have to do some research on it or if y'all want to help me out the only thing I know about her is she's full-bodied She's got this adorable little dress on with stockings and bloomers. Is that her dress says Mandy. And she's sweet as she could be. She's like a soft vinyl. And I have no idea about her. I've never heard of a Mandy doll. But um, if you know anything about her, please let me know. She, I don't know if she'll fit in the little cradle. But I'll try, but I have like my little, my little Russian baby, and then I also have another little baby that we found in the thrift haul. So this is Mandy, and if y'all know anything about her, the age of this doll, or whatever, what is that, Roxy? I wish Roxy could tell me what it is, but uh, I'm going to look up a little bit on her. But some of y'all may know right off the top. And I'm thinking about, she used to, I guess, have paint on her lips. Maybe not. Um, I don't know. On her mouth and where her nose is. Her head is like, see, it's real soft. But the inside, there's like something hard. So it's interesting. But I thought she was as sweet as she could be. And at 99 cents, you can't beat that. So, yeah, guys, I'd appreciate your help in letting me know. Like I said, I collect all kinds of things that draw my eye. Things that are different. What you want, Roxy? You want up here? Okay, so Roxy had to come on my lap. She just loves this little doll. Who is that, baby? Who is that? Do you know who that is? Who's Mandy? So who's Mandy and now all the other little dogs want to come check her out 
But Roxy is the oldest, so she is the queen, so Mandy will sit on top of Roxy. But anyway, she's a cute little thing, so any help with that would be greatly appreciated with the mystery doll. And like I said, on her dress says Mandy. And I have marker and watercolors all over my hands from painting. So anyways, that is the one of the little doll finds. Right, Rox? Hey, can you say hello to everybody, sweetheart? My big girl, I love you so much. Yes, I love you so much. She's a good girl. She look at my lap. She takes up my whole lap. She's a big old girl. She's actually a mini schnauzer. But if you've seen the standard schnauzer, you know how big they're supposed to be. So she is mini compared to the um, big schnauzers. So that's it guys, I've got the nursery mostly cleaned up, it, it's a losing battle with the toys because when I'm in here they have to have their toys, see, but um, anyways I hope y'all are all doing well and I will talk to y'all soon, God bless everybody, bye bye.